Hi, pile three. So we're gonna do the mess. We're gonna do the message first. First, we have you are full of life, adventure, and courage. So this person really sees you as somebody very passionate, very fiery, somebody who really you know, grabs the bull by the horns, somebody who's ready for anything, somebody who could take on anything, somebody who's very brave. I have a hard time showing who I really am, and they are somebody who really has a hard time showing who they really are. I forget things so easily sometimes, forgive me. I just have a lot on my plate, always. So this person's really busy. They're really busy, and they have a hard time really showing who they truly are. And sometimes they might forget things really easily. They just really would like you to have patience with them. I'm trying to give you the space you need to clear your heart and mind. You are an amazing mother. So this person really thinks you're an amazing mother. And they really, they're just trying to back off so that you can... Heal yourself in a way. Be able to clear your energy. Be able to clear your heart, your mind. Be able to really figure things out and to relax. I'm sorry my walls are so hard to scale. <laughs> yeah, there's somebody very protected. They have, they have some sort of scars and pain from the past that really makes it very hard for them to open up and show who they really are. My mind is always on you, even if I don't always show it. Yeah, and they're just really busy. There's somebody who's really busy. You know, be busy with your own things. Be busy with your own things. <laughs> that's that's the big thing here. This person may not show it, but they think about you a lot. A lot. I am sorry if I ever made you feel like you weren't enough. And a lot of times when they're making you feel like you aren't enough, it's because they're busy feeling like they aren't enough. Clarity will come to you when you find peace within and connect to your higher self. And that's why he's given you that time and space as well. He's, he's feeling like you really just need that alone time to find clarity and peace inside. And to really feel your own true value and true worth. So that you aren't anxious about anything going on with them and why they aren't around all the time and why they aren't showing their love all the time. You know, because some people have a hard time really showing that much emotion on a regular basis. And really, a lot of people are very busy in their lives and have a lot going on. And sometimes that can make us feel insecure. But there's no reason to feel insecure. You know, even if this isn't your person you'll find somebody, you know, and there's no reason to be worried all the time that you just aren't enough for somebody, especially if, you know, wouldn't you want to know up front anyway, rather than wasting a bunch of time? And really, you can't even know till you start to build something, you know, my heart has been awakened, the ice is melting slowly. Yeah, so even though it's been really hard to get through to him really hard to overcome those challenges and obstacles really hard to open him up. His heart has been awakened at this point, and the ice is starting to melt slowly. The coldness is going away. He's starting to warm up. You have brought me so many new perspectives, and this you've really just changed this person's point of view on things. Because you're so full of life, so courageous, so boldly you, you know, this person is starting to see that maybe they should be more themselves as well, I think. So we have the sun. The Two of Pentacles. Okay, I've thought of Pile 2 twice in this now. So if you have a need to watch that one, go for it. Knight of Swords. The Tower. Temperance. Or the Empress. The Sun again. Queen of Cups. Six of Swords. Six of Pentacles. And the Hierophant. So, I think you bring this person just so much happiness. Just so much happiness. And you've really awakened them in a lot of ways. Awakened them to their passions, their desires. Awakened them to how much joy can be found in life. And how much...
you've really awakened them to leave behind a lot of their shame and guilt for some of the things in their life. You're somebody who's very loving, very open, very forgiving, very nurturing and caring. Somebody who's just really very amazing. Your heart's amazing. And they're just so drawn towards you. So drawn towards you. And I think they just want to be able to do the right thing by you. They see you as this person who's just so abundant, so fertile, so amazing. Somebody who just is on your throne. You're able to go with the flow. You're just really able to be your true self. This tower card specifically a lot of times is about something short-lived. You know, and maybe there was something short-lived between you at some point and it might have came crashing down a bit and I think maybe if that's the case that they're wanting to come back and they're just kind of watching from afar so anyway as far as what this person's sexual fantasies are with you I think maybe they would really enjoy doing something outside with you like really enjoy that they I think really just enjoy having their hands on you and I think they really enjoy undressing you I think they really would like to just ravish you, take control, you know. Um, there may be a little bit of B BDSM kind of fantasies going on here where they, you know, make you crawl to them kind of thing and, and you know, possibly even whips or, you know, tie you up, that kind of thing. I think this person just really... They see you as somebody very giving and generous, and they really fantasize a lot about being able to give back to you as well. I think they fantasize maybe about a little bit of role-playing as well, you know, especially with them being in the dominant position. Maybe even other people catching you or seeing you in the act. And if you're somebody who's really big, they really enjoy that as well. I think this person would really enjoy possibly having a few drinks with you or being able to eat with you. I think they really, really enjoy your smell. There's something just so alluring about your smell to them. I think this person really enjoys kissing you and really enjoys how much pleasure you get from their touch as well. I think they enjoy seeing your light side and your dark side. I think they really enjoy you touching them, stroking them, watching them. And I think they really enjoy how much pleasure they get from you as well. And they just fantasize about being able to get that pleasure, really, of just following their nose straight to you and being able to just throw you down and have their way with you. I think they really enjoy going down on you as well. I think they enjoy the taste of you. The taste of you and the smell of you immensely. So that's what I have for this pile. I really hope you enjoyed this reading. I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments below. Or if you have a suggestion for another video, I'd love to hear that as well. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe. I hope you have a beautiful night, day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye. Pile four. So we're going to do the message first. We have, I am bewitched by your heart and the beauty it contains. I will no longer accept anything that doesn't serve my highest good. I love you so much, sometimes it hurts. How long can we go on like this? We need communication from the heart. I am trying to trust my heart. This one got an extra couple 
ones as well. So this person would like you to know that they're trying to trust their heart. They have to be able to trust their heart to be able to communicate from the heart. And they really don't know how long this can continue with the coldness or the silence that's going on. Maybe you guys aren't in connection. Um, this person wants you to know that they will no longer accept anything that doesn't serve their highest good. And they would like you to be in that energy as well, to be in an energy where you are no longer accepting anything that is being offered that isn't for your highest good. They're really very bewitched by how beautiful and amazing you are, how amazingly pure your heart is. But maybe they have a hard time trusting that as well because maybe they have a lot of scars on their heart from past relationships and they really don't know if they can trust how pure you seem to be. You know what I mean? And it hurts them a lot of times because they really do love you so much. But at the same time, they have such a hard time just being able to let go and to just be able to be in the moment without worrying that you're about ready to plunge a dagger into their back. That's kind of what it feels like, you know? I need to be on my own. I'm just not ready for this. Yeah, so this, yeah, I think you guys are not in connection at this point. And this person just wants you to know that they need to, they need this time for themselves. They, they aren't ready for something so serious. They aren't ready to feel so much at this moment in time because I think they have a lot of trust issues and really it's very hard for them to open up. And I think maybe it hurts you too when they're not able to be open. And they love you a lot, so they don't really want to hurt you. Divine timing is at play in your love life. Sit back and enjoy the ride. It can get bumpy. <laughs> Divine timing is such a pain in the ass sometimes. There's just a need here to be patient, to be trusting, to really... Just do your own thing. Work on your own goals. Work on yourself and your own self-love and to move forward. Trusting and knowing that if this is meant to be, it will be. I love to watch you defend what you love. That one kind of reminds me of Pile 1 a little bit. Because that was all about a person who just stands up for what they believe in in a way. And, <clears throat> and the other person isn't able to. So this person really enjoys watching you when you're fiery, when you're passionate about something, when you're really defending something you love, and when you're really going after your dreams and your desires. They enjoy that so much. I have a hard time keeping anything to myself. So this person might have a hard time being able to keep the secrets you've told them to themselves or keep maybe maybe they feel like you have a hard time keeping the secrets they give you to themselves maybe they've dealt with somebody in the past who had a hard time hard time keeping anything to themselves so maybe that's why they have the trust issues as possible but this person has a hard time keeping anything to themselves um hmm you express yourself very effectively and you communicate freely and put others at ease. Oh, okay. So maybe this person isn't able to be around you right now because you bring a lot out of them. You are somebody who is able to communicate and put others at ease and really make them feel comfortable. And so they say far more than they should. Or far more than they feel comfortable saying. Far more than they feel like they should because they, they just don't feel sure of the connection kind of in a way. And they really would like to have these heart-to-heart -heart communications with you. But at the same time, they really don't trust themselves not to say too much. And they're really not ready to say whatever it is that they have. you know. And they don't want to betray themselves in a way by doing that. So we have... Seven of Pentacles, Temperance, Nine of Swords, Six of Swords, Five of Cups, Knight of Wands, Seven of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Cups, Queen of Wands, and the five of cups again. So, yeah, I think this person walked away. 
I think this person may have even been playing games or, you know, was very hot and cold in and out, on and off, you know, that kind of energy where they just weren't in it fully. They really weren't sure what they wanted. They didn't know what they wanted. And they're really on this journey right now to understand what their desires are and what they really want. And it's calling you for, to, for you to have patience and for you to just trust and to be calm and to be at peace no matter what's going on with them. Be at peace in your own life. And really, you know... I think maybe they, they feel like you didn't want the games. You turned away from the games. You saw through their games and you're done playing them. And now they're really not sure what they should do because now you know and they've had this loss of your energy because you pulled back away from them and you don't want anything to do with that kind of game, you know? And even if they came to you in a serious mode right now, they're not sure if you you would accept them back or not because of the games they've played in the past. You know, there was a lot of work put into this connection and you thought it was going somewhere. And this person's fears really got in the way. It caused them to believe that they weren't worthy of this and to possibly run away from the connection. And they may have even lied. They may have had other people on the side. They may have really been doing other things on the side. And, you know, they're unsure of whether or not you can see that, that animal-ish side of them and still be thinking that they are your wish come true because you're this person who could have anybody and you're so alluring and so beautiful, but you know what you want as well and they are unsure of what they want. So they don't want to hurt you any more than they have because they know how beautiful your heart is. And they also feel like this could possibly be something that's a little too good to be true, you know? So anyway, as far as their sexual fantasies go, I think they really enjoy when you're playing a little bit hard to get. Instead of chasing after them, you know your own worth and value. You know how alluring you are, and you draw them in, and you, and you know, you play a little hard to get. I think they really enjoy holding you, just holding you, like, in their arms at night, and, like, falling asleep with you in their arms. I think this person really enjoys your patience, your persistence, your determination to keep peace in your life, which is why you didn't want to put up with the games either. I think this person also really enjoys when you go down on them, really, really enjoys when you go down on them, when they go down on you as well. I think they fantasize about the 69 position with you a little bit. They may also fantasize about role playing. There may be some furry fantasies in here, you know, and some people don't enjoy that. If you don't enjoy it and don't resonate with it and you don't think your person would be into that, ignore it. But there are a lot of people who enjoy furries fantasies, you know, and so deal with it. <laughs> I think this person really wants to come in and just be able to express themselves from their heart and want you to accept them back and want you to be able to accept them as they are and to understand them. I think this person really feels like luck would be on their side if they did come in in the right way. If they came in feeling emotionally fulfilled in and of themselves instead of feeling like they need to get that fulfillment from outside themselves. I think this person really enjoys watching you undress and really enjoys the passion you make them feel, you make them feel alive, you make them feel just alive. And I think they really would just like to come in and swoop away with you, you know, but at the same time, it's still kind of that in and out energy. They aren't sure of whether or not they should. They're facing a lot of fears and they're, they're trying to leave those fears behind, trying to leave the lies behind, trying to change their past behavior patterns and the way that they acted in the past and trying to really heal themselves, I think is a lot of this. So that's what I have for this reading. I hope you really enjoyed this and I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments below or if you have a suggestion for another video, I'd love to hear that as well. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you have a beautiful night, day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye.